Good morning, my angels. Hope you are doing well. We are back for a new week. I am Juan Torres Falcón, and this is In Just One Minute. Let's go. Wasn't last week just so much between the Boy Scout speech and Scaramucci? I mean, Scaramucci reminds me so much of Jill Zarin. The Mooch definitely tells people not to film with Bethany. I'm also really interested to see what Ryan's previous test next. Actually, no, I'm not. I don't know why I said that. <laughs> Our pal, President Putin, is in his feelings and announced yesterday that 700 155 American diplomats are being expelled from Mother Russia. This expulsion is in retaliation to the votes in both the House and the Senate to give Russia some major pow pow in the form of new sanctions. This also just in a press release from the 755 American diplomats being expelled. We didn't want to be in Russia either. Win-win, I guess. Tensions are high, my dears. Almost as high as when I went to McDonald's over the weekend and was told I could not enjoy my Oreo McFlurry. They had the ice cream for once, the machine was working, but they had no Oreo bits to put the flur in my McFlurry. And now for a special political edition of What She's Giving! We gotta talk about everyone's favorite auntie, Representative Maxine Waters from the great state of California. She's giving empowered women of color on the Congress floor, knowing what she wants and knowing exactly how to get it. The Treasury Secretary, he let him have it, as they say in the business. Mnuchin appeared before Congress to discuss the current state of the international financial system, and Representative Waters had a question that she had to ask. Because he didn't have an answer, he tried to run down the clock and just talk about her wonderful contributions to the state of California and the this and the that and read back her resume and she said, I'm reclaiming my time. Tertiary. Reclaiming yeah. my time. Okay. Reclaiming Matter of my fact, time. Mr. Secretary, the time. the time belongs to the gentlelady from California. What he failed to tell you was when you're on my time, I can reclaim it. Please, will you respond to the question? of why I did not get a response, me and my colleagues, to the May 23rd letter. Well, I was going to tell you my response. Just tell me. Well, wow. You know how they are, there are the four agreements, use your words impeccably, don't take anything personally, blah, 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 blah. The fifth agreement is hashtag reclaim your time. When you're in the Uber pool and someone's trying to make small talk, say, shh, I'm reclaiming my time. When it's time to get rid of that super negative friend, say, enough, I'm reclaiming my time. When someone starts to tell you about the craziest dream I had last night, you'll never believe it. Say, shh, I'm reclaiming my time. I don't wanna hear about your dreams, girl. I have said this before, All, a lot of people have said this, the bright future of America is in the hands of empowered women of color. It will be Aunt Maxine, and T.T. Kamala, and T.T. Michelle, and T.T. Sotomayor. That is our future. Woo, did that get me together. That's all she wrote, folks. I hope you have a great Monday, and I will see you tomorrow. Remember to bring a smile to someone by having one yourself.